What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is a little bit of a late gameplay, so we're going to be doing an Antoine Jameson gameplay. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we are trying to hit 200,000 subscribers as soon as possible. We're trying to hit it by the end of July, and right now, it's looking like we're going to be quite close to it. And also, lads, um, if you guys could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. This is video number 5 for today. It is currently half 1 in the morning, and I've been pretty much up all day making videos, and it's been the case for the last realistically for the last two or three weeks so if you could leave a like to be great appreciate i know obviously tomorrow is going to be a big day as well but thankfully i have a lot of my videos recorded for saturday and sunday so i should be able to take a little bit of break the weekend so if you guys could leave a like to be great appreciate but anyway we are going to be doing an antoine jameson gameplay right here the squad we're running with is yanis demar de rosen i'm actually gonna, i might change this up what who does he have to two uh no i'll keep it demar de rosen josh smith antoine jameson antoine jameson and Amari Stadamar at the bench. We got Hida, Glenn Rice, AK, Lamar Odom, and Chris Bosch. So Antoine Jameson, 99.99, 203, which is 69 as far as I know. He's got 44 half badges, including range extender, quick draw, hot zone hunter. He's got 69 total badges as well. He's got Hall of Fame clamps, dead eye intimidator, unpluckable, rebound chaser, post move lockdown, um, downhill, fancy footwork. 25 gold badges as well, including defensive leader, dimer, um, putback boss. Got a great post hook and fadeaway. Has got a great three ball, great mid. Solid driving dunk again, 85 is fine. Just like 86 ball control is really kind of the bare minimum. And obviously better is better, but you don't need any more than that. It's the same with an 85 driving dunk. Got a really solid all around defense. That's 90 basically and everything. Really good speed to on acceleration and 91 lateral quickness. So I'm going to quickly compare him to... Odom and Karolenka because they are they're in a 2 base 11 guys the most people are going to be using so oh Jameson's only 6 foot 8 did not realise that I thought he was going to be 6 he was 6 9 last year Um, obviously 5 extra badges and the half quick draw and half range is big there stats wise I'd say very like Karolenko's better stats wise yeah Karolenko is definitely better stats wise but half quick draw and half range might be an advantage for um that's it, Jameson. But with Lamar Odom, I don't think you can really argue that Jameson's better than Odom. He's two inches smaller and their stats are very, very comparable. But again, it's really any preference because he does have a, I'm pretty sure he's got a different upper to them anyway. So uh, yeah, Jameson, really solid card. So now we're gonna get onto the hot zones and release for him. And then we are going to get onto the game. So Jameson, his player build seems okay. Like it doesn't seem bad at all. Obviously the release is, a pretty nice one it's yeah all the all base shots they feel the same um they don't feel really any different they all kind of just feel the exact same whatever the upper is this is kind of looks more like a gilbert arena shot than it does an ak shot to be honest for me anyway but again they're all almost identical just like base 11 last year they're all almost identical so I'm not exactly sure if a 6.8 release is quicker than a 6.9 or 6.10 release. I know certain smaller heights are better, but I don't know if it caps at a certain height. But um, yeah, so I don't think he's got, does he have a long athletic um, layup package, the glitchy hop step? Okay, it seems like his hop step is pretty decent. Let's check out the dribble sigs. See, is there any good? He definitely feels like he's a smaller player build than last year. Yeah, through the legs is not great, to be honest. You can't spam it either, but again, it's not the biggest deal playing online. Behind the back is the T-Mac behind the back, so... Not a... Like, it's a glitch. It's glitchy, the T-Mac one, but it's not really much for shooting. So... Yeah, there's something that just feels off with this release. I don't know what it is. Something feels really off with the timing of this release. Like, I have been able to green, but... It just feels like it's at a weird time. Maybe it's because I'm playing on Xbox. And there's, without question, a delay between when I let go of the button and when the shot gets released. Or maybe it's because his jersey glitches every time I shoot a jump shot. I don't know why that is either, but something just feels really off with this. But either way, uh, he's a base 11 card, and I don't know exactly his price, but if he is cheaper than an AK and he is cheaper than a or an Odom, he will do the exact same job. So anyway, that's going three, and let's get on to the game. That is the weirdest thing ever, his jersey glitching every time he shoots the ball. I hope it's not that case in the game. I really hope that's not the case in the game. So, we're actually going to green one now. Oh my god, screen this. Now, let's get on to the game. 
Okay, this is an auto win right here. I don't know how I managed to come up. Well, to be fair, it's nearly 2 a.m. So that kind of makes sense about why I'm coming up against this type of team. But yeah, this is auto win right here. Yeah, there's no there's no point changing any settings or anything. Let's just get the ball into Jameson's hands. This lag is bad right now. This lag is bad. And his jersey's glitching in the game as well. I don't know what the hell it is. His jersey's glitching every time he shoots the jump shot. But that was a good... Uh, he hit the white right there anyway. Question is, do, will I go default or 21 delay? Ah, screw it. I'll just go default. Let's open. And that's green. Let's go, Antoine Jameson. Let's go. He is exactly like Karolenko. <laughs> Except he's better in the post and not as good on defense. It is literally just uh, an inch smaller. But his wingspan is long, so... I don't know. I don't think I'll... I don't go as far as to say he's, like, better than AK, because I doubt he is. But he's, like, that's another white three right there. That's nine early points from Antoine Jameson. All right, he, he does... Let's see what his dribbling's like. I was about to say, what's his dribbling like? Well, we know what his dribbling's like. And I know for a fact I'll be able to glitch by whatever way this guy tries to play defense on me here. Oh, let's glitch through two of them. Hop step in from deep. We blew the layup. It's fine though. It's fine though. You know why? Oh, he actually got lucky there. Because we have a 97 post hook. We can shoot the 98% contested hook and still score it right there. Wow, this guy's still here? Really? Straight into the hands to Jameson. Sold. Ah, uh, he's left me open again. A little bit earlier and we shot the early this time. Oh, that's not good. Shooting a late followed by an air. Like, shooting a late follow by an air, he's better than shooting two of the same missed shots in a row, but still not great right there. And yeah, his game's gonna be bad. His game is gonna be bad right here. I could probably get 100 if I wanted to, if this guy stayed in it. Actually, no, I'm on Xbox, so maybe not. Oh, Shaq playing bully ball right there for his first basket of the game. Move backwards, Jameson. Oh, I forgot the touchdown passes work in the game now all of a sudden. They don't just toss the ball out of bounds. That's a green light. Let's go. Fareed mustn't have any sort of intimidator if I can green that with that much of a light and contest. Like, he dived right beside me. Considering the fact that in this game you can be nowhere near somebody and get like an 80% contest. Considering the fact that I green that, he mustn't have any intimidator. Shoot that. Okay, that's a bounce back right there. To be fair, you've hit two whites. Get it to him now. Jumping at that. Okay, he's setting the double. Oh, we got stuck in a weird animation. We got stuck in a really... I've never seen that animation before. Getting bumped from one end. The defender deciding to run to the other side of you. And then you're just stuck in a kind of animation. I have never seen that before. You see new animations. You see new ridiculous animations every day in this game, don't you? They really do have the most animations of any game. That's for sure. It's the vast majority of them are bad animations. Green light. There we go. Good shot, Jameson. Three minutes, 17 points. Oh, I've, oh his auto subs on. Oh, it's a corner as Ben Wallace on the team. He's just throwing about nine post hooks at me there. I don't think that's going to do anything. Green that. Blew it. That board, Yanis. Wide open. That's his range. Sold. I uh, completely mistimed that jump. I got caught in a delay catch right there. Completely my fault. Uh, just throw it into my hands. Come on, throw the ball into my hands. Throw the ball into my hands. Give it into my player's hands. You know you want to. Ah, uh, he got a score. <laughs> yeah, actually, he has seven points. Jameson, I hate it when you're trying to bring the player back and he just won't come back. One of the things I just never understood about this game. Oh, that's wide open. That's terrible by me. Come on, stop straight arming, anyway. We can green these. We can green these. Stop straight arming these. These are all open shots. Oh my god, we've straight arm. We are whiting so many. We're not that far off that we are shooting slightly, but we gotta stop. Because I'm trying. I at this stage, considering this guy is unlikely to quit, I'm gonna try to drop 100. Let's get a couple of greens and we'll trigger a green machine and then it's game over. So Dan Danny Age was good for his time though. When he first came out, he was good. Why are you spotting him there off a quick stop? There we go, that's his range. And we hit the we hit another white. Again, I'd, be rather, I'd rather be green, trigger green machine, but you know what, two points, two points. And another shot here. There we go, green. Jameson now 26 first quarter points. There we go, now he rage quits. 
Okay, so let's go and play a game of TTO. Okay, so we're playing against PG, T-Mac, and Anthony Davis. So he's matching up to T... It doesn't actually matter who he matches up to. He's matching up to T-Mac, but this is... You've got one of the best peak shooters in the game. I think replacing T-Mac with... Or replacing Paul George with Glenn Rice pretty makes this the best TTO team in the game. So this will be interesting. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I don't know why I thought it was open. Um, bait it, bait it, bait it. I'll live with that. I'll live with a two. I'll live with a two when a chance for a wide open three is also on. I will always live with a two in that scenario. He's not going to create his own shot. We can get there. We can get there. We can get right there. Let's go. He can't create. Good defense. So our defense has been top notch here. Our offense, however, my God, it's been bad. Let me room on. Please, just let me get a dunk. Let me get a dunk. Please lose call ring. Let's go. It's been a bad start to this game, but our defense has been exceptional. Like, very rarely with a squad like this would we uh, have conceded this few points. Get the, get the block, get the block, Giannis. We just swiped through him. We were right there. He got the animation. Okay, he actually covered that one. It's open. Bad release. That's a really bad release. Where were you going? Like, where were you going, Jameson? You just ran to the elbow for no reason. Uh, dunk that. Please dunk that. Don't blow the open layup. Oh my god. I've actually played a fantastic defensive game here, so... That's at least one positive. Nice, we triggered a hook. He gets no separation on that hook whatsoever. I've tried a couple of post hooks with him in this game. He gets no separation at all. Which is a bit of a problem. That's easy. It's too easy. It's a good move by him. He throws me on the behind the back. We we have, like, we've had so many opportunities where we've had passes that we can make. Leaner or fade away. Why did I shoot leaner? It's definitely not a leaner. Good post fade right there. Okay, just don't let him rim run. Make him shoot the ball. He hasn't hit a jump shot yet. Paul George can't create anyway, so T-Mac can. We got to always keep an eye on T-Mac. And Paul George can catch and shoot. But Paul George isn't going to beat me off the dribble. Because that has ease or his ability to quick stop is not ideal. But like the fact is, like I make this pass every single time to a wide open shooter. But obviously, this is a Jameson gameplay, and this guy very evidently knows that he's double and triple team teaming Jameson every time he touches the ball. What the hell happened there? Good defense, Giannis. How? How is that a fifth? How did that go in? I've seen wide open, like you miss wide open layups in this game, and that shot goes in. I'm telling you this right now. He's the worst at the base eleven cards. Like that doesn't. That's not necessarily it's a bad, saying it's a bad thing. But he's not as good as Hito. He's not as good as Odom. He's not as good as Karolenko. He's not as good as Worthy. He's the worst in them all. Like, and I don't like. I know people are going to want to say the newest card is always the best, but he's just not. He's not as good as any of those three guys or any of those four guys. That's a bad release right there, and we hit the white. I'm struggling again. I'm not great at base eleven, but he's he gets weird animations. Like his post hook animation is weird. That's all I'm going to say. Steal. Ah, oh, unlucky. Pinch and recover. Pinch and recover. Pinch and recover. Pinch recovery's going nowhere. He's going nowhere. Good steal, Jameson. Green that. Oh, come on. Thank you for hitting the white. I just cannot green with him right now. We're there, we're there, we're there. No, no, we're not. He's clunky as hell as well, which is a bit of a problem. He just moves clunky. It's hard to, like, it's hard to get any space. Maybe it's because I'm playing against the best defensive cards in the game. But he just doesn't feel like he moves well. Like, he's on skate. He's on skates a lot of time on defense. I should have pulled that. I, had a, I also had the baseline drive there. We have the baseline here. Oh, no. Wide open. Can I just stop shooting slightly lights? <laughs> that would be great. We've actually tied it up. We can come back. We can win this game. Despite playing our, having our worst shooting game in history. Wide open. No, we blew it. We don't deserve to win this game. If we don't green a shot, I don't care how many whites I miss. If I get 15 more shots and they're all whites, I don't deserve to win this game. That's not a very, that's just not a very late. I'm just saying that right now. That's just not a very late. Give him that. He deserves this. He deserves this. He deserved that shot. We don't deserve this win. We don't, I just cannot release the ball with him. Like, I'm not going to hold the, the fact that I can't release against him. 
because that is a complete me problem. He deserves that win. He 100% deserves that win. He deserves to pause cheese me out of this game. He deserves that win. I am. T I was terrible. So anyway, that's the video. Is Jameson a good card? Yes. Is he a great card? I'm gonna say no. Like he's. This guy does not have worthy, does he? He's not as good as worthy. He's not as good as Karolinka, and he's not as good as Odom. For that reason, I can't put him top tier. I cannot. I simply cannot put a card that has three other versions of him that do the exact same thing but better in the game. And let's check out the prices. Like if he's the cheapest of them all, and you want base, you want a base eleven card, go for it. Like, go for it. Like, he's 133k, so he's not actually that expensive. I would have thought he was more expensive than that. He's not that expensive at all. Let's check out Karolinko. AK is 120 AK. So the same price and AK is way better. AK is way, way better. Um, Prime Odom is 230 AK. I think AK and Odom are very similar. And then Worthy is 12 and 0 reward. So unless you go, I think Worthy is for going 12 and 0 this month. I think you get Worthy, Worthy do you? Yeah. So you're gonna need to go 12 and 0 this month if you haven't already. So yeah he's just he's just okay he's okay he's usable he's serviceable but like he's got the same jump shot as these guys he's also an inch smaller than them um doesn't feel like he moves as well he's actually two inches smaller than odom and uh hito Terkalu. um he's got a post hook which is a really high rating but he gets no separation fadeaway is pretty decent though the fadeaway is not repaired so yeah i was was i this was i is this a bad card? No. Is this a disappointing card? Yes. This is not the Antoine James in the last year. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh,